Hi, right, this lesson is on extracting aluminium. Now, aluminium is a reactive metal. So the way to extract aluminium from its ore is using electrolysis. Electrolysis is a method of decomposing an, ion an ionic substance using electricity. So let's have a look at this. How is aluminium extracted? Here's some retrieval questions. What do metal ions... Sorry, what charge do metal ions have? And what you should have had is positive. What charge so what charge do non-metal ions have? Obviously these are the opposite to metal, so hopefully you got negative. What about the anode? What charge is the anode? Okay, well, the way I remember it is A for anode, A for add, which means the cathode must be negative. And then the final one what electrode would a copper ion be attracted to? Okay, now copper ion is positive. So it should be attracted to the negative electrode, which is called the cathode. Okay, so I hope you did all right on that one. Let's have a look at the lesson objective. Uh, to learn about the process of extracting aluminium. If we look at the learning outcomes, you should be able to describe the actual process and the expl uh, explain the role of cryolite. So let's have a look. Now here's a simple starter. What you have got is electroplating taking place. You've got the fork on the cathode. You've got silver in the anode. Silver ions are moving towards the cathode to electroplating the fork. And the fork becomes a silver plated. That's one use of Electrolysis also. So what do you know about aluminium? I'll give you 10 seconds to write down whatever you can about aluminium. Think about the group number it is in the periodic table. Is it a metal? So will it be a form of positive ion? Let's have a look. So, it's got the symbol aluminium, uh, symbol AL. It will create a 3 plus ion. I did say, think about the group number it's in. It's in group 3, so it's a metal. So it'll be 3 plus ion. Uh, cans. Drink cans are made out of it. Most abundant metal on earth. It's very expensive because we use electricity to extract it. Uh, the aluminium ore... It's called bauxite. That will be on one mark knowledge question on an AQA paper. And it's got a very high melting point, over 2,000 degrees Celsius. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to open this link, watch this video, but please make some notes, okay, in your book. And then uh, that will help you write a summary in your own words. So pause the video now, open that link and watch this video. And when you're ready, come back to the PowerPoint. Okay. If you've now come back to the, to the lesson, hopefully you've, Watch the video, you've made some notes and you've now got some sort of an idea of how aluminium is extracted. This is what you should have seen in the video. It's an electrolytic cell. And what you have, it's not your standard anode and cathode electrolytic cell that you have looked at previously. Now you have, the anode is here. And the cathode is down here. 
Let's see that. Um, the anode is made out of graphite. Now, graphite, you should know, is an al allotrope of carbon. This process is taking place at a very high temperature, and the electrolyte is aluminium oxide. We move on then. Oh, and the other thing is, you get the aluminium forming here. Molten aluminium formed here, which is simply then tapped off. If you look at the floor diagram, what you have is here's a little challenge for you. I want you to read the next paragraphs, few paragraphs, and I want you to create your own floor your own floor diagram that has five different parts. And that floor diagram will show you how this process takes place, how aluminium is extracted. So have a read it, have a read of the few paragraphs. There you go. And create a flow chart. You can pause the video here now, read it, and create a flow chart showing how aluminium is extracted. Okay, well, if you've now come back, this is a typical, possibly four, maybe six mark question, asking about how aluminium is extracted. And you should have some sort of floor chart now. You can see that the first bullet point, the bauxite is purified to yield aluminium oxide. Aluminium oxide is the ore. And from that, aluminium is extracted. The extraction is done by electrolysis, but the aluminium oxide must be mel melted the reason why it has to be melted, so that the ions are free to move. Uh, the aluminium oxide, to actually melt aluminium oxide, yeah, it has a very high melting point. So we have to add cryolite to it, and that lowers the melting point to around about 850 degrees Celsius. All the metal forms are negative electrode, obviously aluminium being a positive ion, will migrate towards the negative electron, which is the cathode. There, it gains the electrons to become aluminium atom, and which is then tapped off. Oxygen formed at the positive electrode, which is the anode. This oxygen reacts with the carbon, however, to form carbon dioxide at that temperature, forms carbon dioxide. And the anode gradually burns away, and every so often, it has to be replaced. And this obviously adds to the cost of the process. Hence, aluminium is very expensive. So let's have a look. Now, this is my flow chart. You can pause it here, have a look at yours, self-assess it, and if you want to make any further additions to your flow chart, please do that now. Okay, so moving on then. What happens at the positive electrode? Write a brief description of what happens at the positive electrode, including the half equation. It's worth four marks. Have a go at this before I show you the answer. Pause the video here. Don't forget, positive electrode is the um, anode. So this is, you can now self-assess again. So the O2 ion, oxide ion, loses the two electrons to form oxygen atoms. Oxygen ions have been through oxidation, losing the two electrons, that's oxidation. 
Reduction is, remember, gain electrons. Oxygen reacts with the carbon electrons to form carbon dioxide. And there's the half equation, and it's balanced. And that's your typical four mark question on a higher tier paper. Okay, let's have a look. This one, write a brief description of what happens at the negative electrode at the cathode now. So using the previous example, hopefully you can get these three marks. Pause the video here. Have a go. Okay. Well, let's have a look at, did you get the three marks? Well, the aluminium, Al3+, plus, this time goes to the cathode to gain three electrons. Don't forget, cathode is electron rich. So it gains three electrons to become aluminium atom. The aluminium ions are reduced because it's gaining the electrons. And there's the half equation. And at that temperature, it's obviously molten aluminium, which is simply tapped off. If aluminium is the most abundant metal on the planet, why is it so expensive? Well, think about this. Pause the video here. Now, let's see what you've got. It's got a very high melting point, so it requires a lot of energy to melt it. Electrolysis is expensive. You've got to add cryolite, which is expensive. The anodes, which are carbon, react with the oxygen at that temperature to form carbon dioxide, so they need replacing. And then the waste rock needs to be disposed of. Okay, moving on. Why, you, why is cryolite used? Um, yeah, that was in one of the floor charts earlier on. So hopefully you've worked this out, why cryolite is used. Okay, let's see my answer then. You can self-assess. To, re to reduce the melting point, to save energy and reduce costs. Which electrode does the aluminium form at and why? Okay, you better go. Well, it's at the cathode because the aluminium is positively charged. Cathode is negatively charged. So the cathode as the ions are attracted to the oppositely charged electrode. Why do the positive electrodes need to be changed frequently? You should be able to get this one now. But I'll let you write the answer on. Okay, so it's because they react with the carbon and they gradually burn away. That should, the, the oxygen formed at the anode reacts with the carbon. Okay, now here's some questions for you today. Is, is a typical GCSE question, have a look at it. You can pause the video and when you're ready, you can then self-assess. This is the answer. Mark that worth two marks. The electrolyte contains cryolite. Explain why. There's your two marks. Look at the next one. Now here's a two mark question. You've got two marks for the half equation, and then you've got two marks for on. Uh, uh, you need to provide an explanation. Pause the video here again and have a go. And then when you're ready, you can self-assess. And there it is. Hopefully you got two marks. And that concludes today's lesson on electrolysis.